Hey, what's that ambulance going over there? Is there something wrong with my father? Oh, uh, nothing serious. I'm Dr. Stewart. You're Mr. Sanford's son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just has a very bad case of gas and acute indigestion. Oh. Seems he uh, ate some eight-day-old collard greens for breakfast, and uh, they didn't agree with him. Eight-day-old collard greens wouldn't agree with Superman. <laughs> I told him to get rid of them things. They had the whole house smelling like a pot liquor factory. And he ate them. That was stupid. Well, look, in any case, he's really not in any mood to be chastised, uh, so it might be a good idea to sort of just go easy on him. Oh, don't worry. Look, there'll be no chastising. See, you got me at the right time. From here on in, there's going to be nothing but self-discipline in that house. Self-discipline and control. And I got the discipline to do it. Oh, that's nice. Are you a Zen Buddhist? Uh, no, I'm a double Libra and Baptist. <laughs> well, anyway, he should just stay off his feet for the next day or two, at least till the uh, stomach problem clears up. Uh, all he probably needs is just one big belch. Well, is there anything I should do for him? Just stand back. <laughs> Goodbye. <Well>, I... <sighs> hey, Pop, how you feeling? I'm a little sick, son. I know. I saw the doctor on the way in, and he told me. He did? What did he tell you? It's bad, ain't it? Oh, no. Why do you say that? Why are you smiling at me like Bella Lugosi or something? <laughs> well, can I smile at my own father? <laughs> well, why are you starting today? It's serious, ain't it? Look, Pop, if there was anything seriously wrong with you, now you'd know I'd tell you. Sure you would. Just see me suffer. I don't want to see you suffer. You're my father and I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. If you did, you'd have sympathy pains. You mean to tell me you want me to be sick just because you're sick? Yeah. I don't want to suffer you all by myself. A family that's sick together sticks together. You know, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Pop. And I'm not going to stand up here and... There you go again. Look like Dracula. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and put some fresh linen on your bed, Pop. For what? I just changed it a week ago. You'll rest better with fresh linen. And as long as I'm going up there, I'll take the TV set. Might as well be entertained while you recuperate. Yeah, be entertained while I spend my last days on Earth. If I die, I hope it's in the middle of a commercial. You're talking ridiculous, Pop. Oh. 